Hello everyone, welcome back to Comment Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. We are going to continue with health indicators and today we shall talk about the different disability indicators. Now I am making a separate video on disability indicators because this is quite important in context of your exam. You can face some short notes or viva question from this part alone. Uh, before we begin, we need to know what is disability. Disability can be defined as any restriction or lack of ability to perform an activity in the manner or within the range considered normal for a human being. In simple word, we can say if a person is unable to perform any activity which is considered normal for his given age and gender, then it is said the person has some kind of disability. For example, say one person has experienced some road traffic accident and because of that he loses his legs so now he cannot walk so it is quite expected and it is quite normal for a human being to be able to walk since because of the road traffic accident now he cannot work then we can say the person has some kind of disability now disability rates can be of two types event type indicators or the person type indicators now event type indicators can be the number of days restricted activities. So for how many days the person cannot perform all the activities. He has some kind of restriction uh, to perform different activities. That is number one. Number two is bed disability days. For how many days he has to remain confined within his bed because of the disability. Then we can have work loss days or school loss days within a specified time. So in a given time period for how many days a person cannot go to his work or a, uh, a child or maybe a boy or a girl cannot go to the school or college etc. because of the disability. So all these are event type indicators. Then we can have the person type indicators for example limitation of mobility. So the person cannot move. There is some limitation or restriction in mobility. For example the person is either confined to bed or confined to the house so he cannot move outside the house special aid in getting around either inside or outside the house so maybe he needs some kinds of kind of help uh, maybe a crutch or a walker uh, to walk around or inside or outside the house so this is limitation of the mobility what about limitation of activities some kind of activities may be limited because of his disability for example limitation to perform the basic activities of daily living so activities of daily living ADL for example uh, eating washing dressing going to toilet moving about etc so the person is not able to uh, perform this or maybe uh, he can perform this but in limited uh, restriction also there is some uh, limitation in major activities like ability to work at a job ability to do the housework household activities etc so these are all the person type indicators now coming to the different uh, indicators specific for uh, disability uh, which are commonly asked as short note or viva question the first one is health adjusted life expectancy or hell hle so it is based on the life expectancy at birth but includes an adjustment for time spent in poor health so what we are doing here we are obviously considering the life expectancy at birth so when a person is born when a child is born given the different uh, mortality rate in different age group how many years this child or newborn is expected to live in a particular country or in a particular geographical area that is my life expectancy at birth but along with that we are also considering the time period during which the person spent his life in poor health so these two things considered together while calculating the health adjusted life expectancy
it is the equivalent number of years in full health that a newborn can expect it to live based on current rates of ill health and mortality so as you can see we are considering mortality uh, that will uh, obviously uh, be expressed in terms of life expectancy and also the rates of ill health and disability that will tell us uh, for how many uh, years or maybe months the person is spending his life in poor health so these two things are considered and then we calculate in such a way that will tell us how many numbers of years the person is living in full health uh, so there is no disability in this time period we have to deduct that so this is health adjusted life expectancy the next one is quality adjusted life years also known as quality this is very important uh, uh, because it is a commonly asked short note uh, now what is quality it is the measure of disease burden and it includes both the quality and quantity of life lived so not only we are uh, we are trying to consider the uh, quantity of life that means how many years a person is living also the quality of life so what is the quality of the life he is living so both this these two things are uh, considered while um, calculating the quality it is used in assessing the value for money of medical interventions and it is used to quantify the effectiveness uh, for a new treatment compared to a current treatment for a particular condition so sometimes what happens different medical interventions can add years to the person's life so maybe without any intervention the person would die and following this intervention he may be uh, will be living for a longer period of time so his life uh, is ex uh, extended you can say so years of life being lived is also extended by this medical interventions then we are also considering this extended lifetime how he is living what is the quality of life of this extended years so considering these two things we can compare between different medical interventions what we are doing is we are trying to quantify this effectiveness uh, of different interventions in terms of quality and uh, it is based on the number of years of life that would be added by the intervention as i mentioned now if we look at the simplest mathematical formula quality is quality of life multiplied by length of life so we are considering both quality as well as the quantity of the life now each year in perfect health is assigned a value of one so if the quality of life it is a perfect health we assign a value of one or it can be zero if the person dies so that is the worst situation right worst quality of life is death so that is zero so in for for different disabilities the value will be between one and zero so it can be any value between one and zero so it can be 0 0.05 0 0.73 anything also length of life means for how many years the life is being extended by the particular medical intervention so if we have a value of one quality that means this multiplication value is one that means it has to be one into one right or two into 0 0.5 something like that so in simplest uh, words we can say one coil is equal to one year of life extended and utility value is one that means that is the perfect life uh, also we can have 0 0.5 quality 0 0.5 quality can be two things so uh, one year of life spent in uh, half utility factor so maybe the quality of life is somewhere in between the perfect as well as the worst so that is 0 0.5 or we can spend half year of life in perfect uh, status that is the perfect health one so 0 0.5 into one so it can mean both things so just to summarize uh, quali what we do by different medical interventions uh, life can be extended right and this extended life we also have to consider what is the quality of life during this then we compare the quality of different interventions and the mathematical formula is quality of life multiplied by quantity of life so basically the utility factor that is uh, ranging from one to zero one being the perfect health zero being the death and length of life is how many years the life is being extended all right and then we multiply and get the value of quality so this is about quality adjusted life years the next one is even more important if you ask me that is disability adjusted life years or DALY. 
it is the measure of overall disease burden and expressed as a number of year lost due to ill health or disability and early death so a person can live or can be expected to live up to a certain age maybe due to some accident he dies 10 years earlier 10 years earlier as in uh, earlier of what is expected uh, so that means he dies 10 years earlier and that is considered as a premature death also maybe he did not die but he suffered some kind of serious injury and because of that the quality of life uh, is obviously uh, affected there is some kind of disability so that means we are also considering any life that is being spent with some kind of disability or any life that is lost because of premature death so these two things are considered okay and as i mentioned daily uh, considers two measurements years of lost life that is yll and years lost due to disability yld this is the mathematical formula and the daily combines in one measure so there is a single measurement and it combines two things the time lived with disability and the time lost due to premature mortality one daily can be thought as one year of healthy life lost so this is daily so if you look at this diagram so this is healthy life and given the life expectancy in that particular country or any geographical area suppose a person is expected to live up to this age okay so this is this is the expected life years now in between he may have some episodes of illness these are this thin purple lines are during uh, different uh, episodes of illnesses and there is some serious disease for which he suffered some kind of permanent disability so as you can see this is a continuous purple line now there is some kind of accident or maybe some kind of uh, serious disease because of which he dies at this particular point of time which is earlier than the expected life year so life expectancy was here but he but he dies here now that means he loses this much amount of years because of premature death or early death also we are considering the time period during which he lives with certain kind of disability so when these two things are considered the time period during which he lives with disability as well as the time or years lost because of premature death we get the daily the same thing is given in this diagram also you can pause this video and look at this diagram for further clarification next uh, this particular slide may not be very important for undergraduate level but still if you are interested but if you are a postgraduate student this is important now how do you calculate the years of lost life that is yll and years lost to disability that is yld for measuring the years of lost life we uh, consider all the premature deaths and uh, for uh, how many years earlier than the life expectancy these people died the, those all this th all these things are considered together for calculating the yll and what about yld we calculate how many years the person spent his life in different kind of disabilities as well as the severity of the disease or the disability and the utility factor again the some kind of weighing factor you have to uh, measure in because uh, in different disabilities the utility factor or the weighing factor may be different so all these things are considered together to find out how what is the uh, amount of years that is lost to different disabilities and then we add them up to get the uh, disability adjusted life years so this uh, particular three things that that is hale health adjusted life expectancy the quality adjusted life years as well as the uh, disease adjusted life years that is daily these three are very common uh, commonly as short notes and can be asked in viva table so it is important that the students know the very basic of these things uh, with this we conclude today's session if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates juniors and friends from other colleges we also have our facebook page that you can follow the link is given in the description take care and we shall see you in our next video